everyone welcome to the channel nathan how you doing today i am great just great that's wonderful to hear nathan this is a patron request from one of our newly faithful patrons i think nina is semi-new i think yeah, semi yeah she's been she's been joining us regularly in the in the chats and yeah, yeah. she's great so this is from nina she this is the write-up about this video she says she goes uh so nina gave us a reaction video where we reacted to Davina Michelle, one of her original songs. Remember, it was during the COVID stream, and we thought it was a really great performance. She was a lovely gal. She got really popular off her cover of Pink, especially when Pink said, hey. Oh, right, right, right. right, right. Now, yeah. at the time of this recording, Nathan and I have yet to react to the Pink cover, What About Us? We are going to. So just keep that in mind that even if this video that we're doing now comes out after that reaction, just, just so people have full disclosure, we are going to get to that mm. video. It's one of our to-do lists. Okay. So this is what Nina had to say about this video, Nathan. She goes, I have another video of Davina for you to react to. It's a video that shows more about her as a person as she is reviewing her own videos and telling more about the pink experience. The video is recorded during Corona. So this is another one during the uh, coronavirus days. So it's another um, behind the scenes of how she feels about that pink, I guess that pink plug maybe, or, and I think it okay. boosted her channel to a degree. That's well, amazing. The title is 1 million subs. What actually happened? Oh, oh so she'll tell us how I got here, her journey there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's check it out. I recorded What About Us. I seriously, I was hangover as F. Hi, guys. Welcome to this rather unordinary video where I'm going to look back to my past videos and my YouTube career with you guys and behind the scenes to celebrate that my family has grown to 1 million subscribers. I'm so thankful, I'm so happy. I'd never expected that this would happen. And I just wanna share it with you guys. Quick disclaim. Nathan, when we hit 1 million subs, are we gonna do this video as well? Are we gonna do a video like this as well, do you think? Oh, it'll be identical. It'll be... Yeah. Well, maybe not identical. We might wear different yep, clothes. We'll get, we'll get a little tree, a little blue background, mm. a sweet little laptop better yeah. microphone yeah i can't wait to get 1 million subs how close are we we we're getting there well we only have nine hundred thousand nine hundred and ninety. yeah what is it yeah it's a lot yeah okay keep uh we'll keep you posted <laughs> we'll keep you posted folks okay i'm here alone with geo my camera guy geo say hi, hi. hi geo. <laughs> keeping six feet distance oh, um yeah. this is my own laptop so i'm not this touching any of then. geo's <laughs> shit just to stay safe and healthy you i love this old school back then yeah back then yeah. stuff it's so mm. weird to see now already yeah yeah all my hair my accent i'm a super dutchy dutch girl i'll try to speak english the best i can um oh, but great just one time when i took this first aid course it was a dutch girl she was so gorgeous yeah she was beautiful unlike dutch her girls are beautiful no unlike, this girl's oh gorgeous yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we should move to Dutchland when we have a chance. Yeah, Dutchland. That's what they call it. Is that what it's called? Okay. The land we'll of the. We'll probably Dutch. need some subtitles. So this morning, I asked you guys on my Instagram story if you have any questions about oh. my YouTube videos or me recording covers or my YouTube experience in general. And you guys came up with a bunch. I screenshotted some of your questions. I'm going to answer them. Um, in the video, I guess. Since April the 3rd, 2017, we uploaded a cover every Monday. We haven't missed one Monday. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna Holy share Monday. some inside stories of recording these covers. And I thought, well, let's start with my first cover of all time, Rockabye by Clean Bandit, Sean Paul, and Marie. I was super, 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 super excited, nervous, kind of ashamed, I guess. And we had no idea what we we're going to do, but we thought, well, let's do it. Let's record it. We're going to watch this real quick. I already have uh -oh. like the funniest inside story of this. That's something I thought we should do at some point when we go back and look at our first video <laughs> reaction videos. Not that we're any better, but we're, yeah. we're a little less cringe now than we were back then. Maybe when we hit 100,000, we'll do something like this. So in 10 years, copy that. <laughs> and this is my cover of Rockabye. I hope you like it. I was so cute. <laughs> Here you see me and Sebastian. Sebastian is uh, on the guitar. He's also my boyfriend. I think oh. we da started dating like a few months before this video was taken. 
I wanted him to be on the video because he's playing the guitar, of yeah, course. Good idea. But he wasn't wearing any shoes. He was just on his socks. And I said, well, you're going to put on your shoes because <laughs> I'm not having you in socks on this video. So put on shoes. <laughs> and he was so stubborn. He actually only put on one shoe. I don't uh. know <laughs> if anyone... <laughs> if, <laughs> Let's see if we have a matching question. That's great. That's lovely. They went closer. I wouldn't have noticed otherwise. But yeah, he's wearing one shoe in the front. The sock was behind. That's funny. I love it. Like a good guy. It's a compromise. It's a compromise. Mm -hmm. You want me to wear mm -hmm. shoes? Fine, I'll put one on. <laughs> By the way, I've not prepped this video at all. If it's uh, kind of chaotic. <laughs> so. Hey, she's like us. We don't prep anything. <laughs> Nothing's prepped on this channel. I got a lot of questions on how I pick my covers. I pick them myself. I do with Noah. Noah's my piano guy. First, I just go on Spotify new released or viral or top 50 and I check songs that are um, going viral or that are popular or from big artists, songs that will probably be watched a lot on YouTube uh, or listened to on Spotify, so popular songs. The most important part is I have to like the song, it has to fit my voice. Were you afraid of starting with YouTube? I appreciate her candor on that. Like she's, you know, she's, it's a business, right? So she's like, you know, if I'm gonna do this, is it something that people are going to be interested in hearing me cover? Obviously, if you cover something yeah. totally obscure. Well, it happens on our channel. We've reacted to We love doing it. But some of our patrons will give us things to react to that nobody watches. We enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But it's mm -hmm. an artist that's obscure or very indie. So nobody knows who they are. They don't hit any algorithm. They'll get like 30 views, you know. And mm -hmm. that's what she's saying. It's like, look, I could cover those type of artists, but no one's going to watch it. Because nobody knows what who they are. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tough to break that algorithm on YouTube. Totally get it. Oop. Gosh, yes, I was so afraid. I was just so scared that um, what people might think. You're super vulnerable on the internet. I was very, very afraid of what classmates or people that I kind of knew uh, were thinking. I still recall this one friend actually saying to me after like the third YouTube video, he said, are you seriously going to continue doing this every week? Don't you have anything serious to do? Oh. That's actually what he told me. And I was like, um, Yes, I guess I'm going, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. I was super insecure, but I am very, very... Like her personality. Yeah, she's great. I do. This is what Nina wanted us to see, I think, was her personality. And we're, she has a, a fun personality. But it's funny, too, just how common the human experience is. You know, you obviously go on Instagram or watch Reels. I, I don't know if you ever read the comments on some of these things where people... I'm trying to think of something, but there'll be something that someone will make a comedy bit on or something that we can relate to and a lot of the comments are we're living the same life the fact that somebody can do yeah. like one that comes to mind a very easy one is it, it's a comedy one that you probably have seen something to the fact that like it shows what happens when i turn off the lights in the basement or something and it mm -hmm. guy turns off the lights and it shows this creature running up the stairs chasing him up the stairs he gets to his bedroom locks the door and the, the creature goes away because he got the door locked and people are like, why do we all live that life? Why do we all, <laughs> like, we can watch that video and all have experienced some sort of fear of when I turn off the lights, I have to go up two flights of stairs, something's chasing me. But we've all experienced that, that you can, yeah. that, or else it's not relatable. It's not funny, but you can watch that. Everyone's like, why are we all living the same life? Hmm. And so for her just to do that, someone's tearing me down a little bit. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> like, she's able to express that. So no matter what your language is, what I'm getting, or where you are in the world, we all, we totally relate to what she's saying about how one might react in that situation. There's only so many experiences we have as humans. I guess there's a finite amount. Ryan, you're expressing something I haven't been able to express in words and you expressed it very well and in a way that I understood. So very well done. Thank you. Me talk good. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> very happy that I went through and that I continue doing what i love um yes do what you that's love why i'm here right now yeah it's time for a question because Ignore i the see hate. this cover that i seriously need to talk to you guys about let's see what experience from a youtube video that you made would you like to relive well what experience yeah well definitely me recording the cover of what about us <laughs> mm -hmm. definitely um i think most of you guys are familiar with that story I recorded What About Us, like the, the vocals, and it was probably the quickest I've ever recorded any vocals. And then I recorded the video with Gio a few days later, and I seriously, I was hangover as F. Best friend celebrated her birthday the night before. Um, so that's why my hair is looking all, my eyes are like, I think back 
then I had like 12k subscribers, I guess. I'm looking at Geo right now. <laughs> wow. My stats. 12,000? <laughs> yes. It's interesting. We talked about this on a different video, but it still applies here. The idea of, what did you say? Don't care about sucking or don't worry about the suck? Yeah. Like, it's it just give yourself permission to suck. Like, that's it's, right. It's, yeah. So it shows you right here. She's like, I did a I did one take cover. When I shot the music video portion of my vocal cover, I was hungover. I didn't look that great, but I, just, I was having fun. I'm just having fun. And there, lo and behold, as we know a little bit of the story already from uh, Nina, this video helped her channel blow up. And mm -hmm. one day, Nathan, we'll have that same experience. We just don't care. And you know, actually, the funny thing is we joke about our number stuff, but we actually never talk very rarely about kind of that kind of growth on our channel. We just have fun and let the mm -hmm. cards fall where they may. We just we have a good time doing it. I think what's key here is is she wasn't going out to try and get Pink's attention. That's right. That's just that's just it. as soon as you start forcing it, it starts to break down and be a little bit see through. Yeah. Agreed. Ticklished, something like that, and then Pink came. Uh, I think we should watch this video. It's not my content, but I think we should definitely watch this. Oh, Pink watches fan covers on YouTube. That's it. What about us? So this happens. I love this part. Holy shit. <laughs> Who's this? That's better than I will ever sound. <laughs> she knows what Pink's going to say. She's watched it a hundred times. Sure. When the yeah. video was uploaded, it kind of went viral. I got a lot of attention. I got to perform on the biggest stage in the Netherlands and it, it did so much for me. And I got to meet her. Actually, oh, wow. now I know how it's cool. supposed to sound. Is she like a recording artist that makes <laughs> records and puts records out? <laughs> okay, well that needs to change. change. So that changed uh, everything. And I was yeah, like, okay, let's go. Let's write songs, let's create music, let's put anything out there. We wrote a few songs, but my first came straight from my heart was Skyward. Then I released Better Now, I released Beat Me a few months ago. And it's been such a different world being an actual recording artist and writing your own music and releasing own music. I got a question how long it took me to write Beat Me. Well, I think like to write the lyrics like a few weeks and it was at all different stages of emotion. <laughs> like I was sad, I was happy, I was excited, I was angry, I was anxious, I had everything because it's so different to actually create your own work. When I record a cover and I get judged, I get judged over my voice. If someone doesn't like the song, that's not my problem because it's not my song. I always feel super vulnerable when I release own music because it's a piece of me. And if people don't like it, they don't like a piece of me. And I feel, ugh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Again, we don't create the way she is or other people, but part of our reaction channels in general, it's just, it is what the piece of us that we leave to anyone that watches our videos is our opinions or thoughts or experiences that we bring to the table and how we view a song or performance. And people then will criticize our thoughts and processes. And that's part of what happens when you're, you put yourself out there. It sucks. Don't get me wrong. Hmm. We've, I've gotten better of ignoring it and having fun with it. But at first it's kind of stings when it first happens. You're like, you this and you that and you people can be pretty as i'm sure she recognizes i'm sure she's gotten it too people can be pretty mm -hmm. harsh this is like well i just have an opinion about a song and people oh, can yeah. be can be pretty harsh and then i can only imagine what it's like to create something legit like she's doing and then have those same type of comments from people could be tough well our first year we just recycled uh nicknames that people gave us <laughs> 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 corn yeah. dog and ass hat corn dog and ass hat yeah and uh we had a couple other ones that we yeah yeah people have called us a few things but so i get it and um yeah. and i'm sure she she's more confident now but anyone that says it doesn't affect you at all me like you don't feel anything mm. uh, it, it stings like it would, i don't go to bed crying about it or want to jump off a bridge or anything but you can't read a negative comment and say i feel good now like it sucks and mm. i've heard celebrities like big time celebrities on podcasts say the same thing like it's human Nobody likes mm -hmm. to hear it. And so some yeah. of them will never read the comments, but then you don't get to read the good comments, which we get a lot of good comments. So you, sometimes you have to read the bad to see the good, right? So yeah, yeah. I, feel, I just feel judged, I guess. I love to write music. I love to release my own music. I love to 
promote it and be on stages and perform my own songs and have people singing the lyrics that I worked on so hard with me. And that's probably the most amazing part of being a recording artist. Working on an album right now comes this summer. Promoting myself here. Let's watch this one. Y'all have to meet Marcus. Marcus is also a guy from my team. And he's a bass player. He's amazing. <laughs> it took me back to East LA now, na, na. Oh, Okay, like cool cringe cover. When I look back at my old covers And I listen to my voice or I listen to my accent I think There has been some progression Especially when I listen to this song I'm like ah. Okay, next I was super ill this cover You have to Wait, let's check this Something must have gone Flip the hair Nasal sound. Feeling all the highs, feeling all the pain. Mm-hmm. It's you, babe. And I'm a sucker for the way that you move, babe. And I could try to run, but it will be useless. You're the play. Just one hit of you. I know I'll never, ever, ever be the same. Next. Wow, good. What was your lead? It was to show that. <clears throat> No auto tune right there, and right there, it's just yeah. a raw vocal. I'll, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You know, here's the difference between a true artist and the wannabes. I've listened. I've heard people say. I've heard this in the past. Oh, Ryan's getting a meal. Look at you, lucky. Yeah, there she is, my beautiful wife. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, the difference between a true artist and then the wannabes. True artists are pretty hard on themselves. And I would say mm. generally good human beings are. And I don't mean that that they should be really hard on themselves. When you, There is a, such a thing as being too hard. Right. But I've met people that think that they're so good and they're completely oblivious to how bad they actually are. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't care. They, they seem to be like... They're like, oh no, you got to act uninhibited all the time. Da, da, da. No, there's there's actually some wisdom in actually going, hey, what can I fix or do better? And the fact that she's kind of cringing at her stuff, I mean, she could be, I think she could acknowledge how good she is. I think that's probably a good thing for her to do, but it's also keeping her in check. It's not, she's not all like, I don't know. I, I, nothing turns me off, and I don't mean romantically. I just, yeah, I understand. <laughs> human being wise right. worse than somebody who's just into themselves so much that they, they can't see, you know, that they're their own problem. So right. anyway, I, I no. appreciate that about, about good artists. Cause I know a lot of artists like her who are just, they're not too hard on themselves, but they are they're You know, they have a high bar to clear for themselves and that's, that's not a, that's not the worst thing. Yeah. It's, it's a good thing to have that. Oh, well said. So there you go. Very well said. Yeah. That was your very well said moment. Yeah, well, I get one. No, oh, you get more than one, I promise. Least favorite song to film? Well, I have favorites. I have least favorites. It probably was These Days by Rudimental, Jess Glenn, Feed, Feed Jess Glenn and Macklemore, I guess. And then Kaplan. <laughs> Do I pronounce it right? This song gave me so much aggression to record, to be honest. At one point, recording while well, recording it with Noah, I seriously had to go outside, lie in the grass, because I seriously wanted to break something in there. <laughs> Cigarettes in the ashtray, reminiscing on those past days. I thought you'd end up with my last name, but that tra- Do you hear that cracking in my voice? I was almost crying. That's what you hear. <laughs> end up with my last name, wow, but that no, well. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Next, <laughs> positive vibes here. It's hard to watch yourself. Like I do some editing for our channel. You've done it too. And mm, mm. I it's like, Ryan, shut up. <laughs> Are you, I'm my, I am my harshest critic. Like I t- I'll tell you, and I've, I have a podcast as well that I do. And I've told my other co-hosts in those podcasts where I'm like, when I chop it up, I'm usually, it's my stuff. I'm taking out the most. It's, it's like, oh, Ryan, you're repeating yourself, or you. That was a stupid joke. Or, yeah, I'm definitely my harshest critic. So I don't know if the editor should be the should be the author, so to speak. But, mm. but anyways, yeah, I'm my, I am my harshest critic. I don't know if that's good or bad, but yeah. something that I love to record. 
One Kiss, Calvin Harris, Dua Lipa. I love to record that song. Love Dua Lipa, love Calvin, Har Calvin Harris. This tune though. Hi guys, I'm Davina Miko. At some point we were like, cut the tune, whatever, it takes too long. And it's super loud. Did she pronounce it Miko? Yeah, it sounded like Mikel or Miko. Mikel? Let's go back just a little bit, because I apologize yeah. to Davina if we said it wrong. Let's hear that again. Calvin Harris. This tune though. At some point, we were like, cut the tune, whatever it takes too long. Be cold. And it's yeah. super loud. That must be the Dutch way of saying it. So yeah, us mm. Canadians would pronounce that Michelle. Like oh the yeah, French, I'm sure the we're the first ones that have pronounced it. This no, time. we're the only ones, Nathan. Mm -hmm. So how does she pronounce it? Mikol? Like Mikol almost? Like a Nick Nicole, but Mikol? Mikol? I don't know. Yeah, well, you did, I what do you don't know? Did you just? Well, it was too quick for me. I, I'm not. What do you mean you didn't hear? I'm withholding judgment until I. It's not judgment. I'm, it's an assessment. <clears throat> I'm not asking you to judge. I'm asking you to, what. What are I your elf ears okay, tell you? My elf ears could not assess based on the small quantity of information. <laughs> I wonder if she's watching us react to her reacting to herself reacting to. I don't know, but I would definitely react to us reacting to her reacting to us. No, we're never going to. In ten years, when we hit a million subs, we'll do that. <laughs> So innocent. I'm taking that I love real easy. And know that you still wanna see me. Something in you. So cool. Let up heaven in like, me. She has so that many attitude, looks. girl. Say that again. She has so many different looks. She's just she's adorable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's, she's yeah, she's obviously very attractive, but what makes her even more attractive, she looks like she has a very fun, sweet, bubbly personality. Uh, mm. Well spoken, articulate, and yes, that then makes her even more attractive. As she was a, a miserable type personality, of course, it looks only go so far. At some point, you're like, mm -hmm. okay, you're mm -hmm. irritating. Stop talking, you know. But no, she's she's very she'd be pleasant. A lot of fun to hang out with. Yeah, she, she probably would be, be fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Game night, she'd be good fun. Heard her boyfriend come over and to play games with you and your wife or something. She'd be a fun board game player. I bet you something like oh, that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Won't let me sleep. Eating your wop. I love this cover. Cute. Next. Oh, this one. High hopes. Panic at the disco. I had a hard day. I was not feeling well. I was super tired. Had a very busy week. I think we recorded this one like late at night. Seriously, at one point I have my hands down my pockets, in my pockets. Check this. <laughs> My hair, I look like a rat. <laughs> I was just not in the mood. I'm waiting for the pocket moment. Yeah, there! <laughs> Why are my hands in my pockets? I don't think I would have noticed that. I think, I yeah. Why did I do that? It's so funny, she's saying that. I would have just considered that's part of a... That's part of the video. That's her posture in this video. It's artistic sure. choice. But she's saying she's not feeling it that day. She's just going. Yeah. She's telling a story with her hands in her pocket. That's right. It's I, about it's about the societal control of what we should right. do with her our hand. Yeah. So it's ironic <clears throat> that you and I would have watched that, not even considering that was her being not lazy, but or she's saying it was something she doesn't like that she did. But we're watching. No, oh, that's, that's an important message you're giving with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's funny. Uh, that's what the funny thing about art is. It's all about interpretation. Hmm. Gio, why didn't you say something? <laughs> I'm going to check the comments for a sec. Actually, uh, someone is saying, See? I love how she's saying with her hands yeah. in her pockets like an awkward high schooler at prom. <laughs> Thank See, you. It's, it's all interpretation. Ooh, mm -hmm. I actually got a question in Dutch. Let me translate it real quick. Can you maybe make a video of what happens behind the scenes well oh. i'm gonna that, this film video. this right now <laughs> yeah, so y'all can see yeah. what my set looks like so this is where i'm sitting right now that's geo hi geo oh, wow. and that this is like my there's a lamp it would there's the like. fake ass plant look, <laughs> seriously fake look plant. at this pot fake, fake look at this pot <laughs> <laughs> and it's <laughs> total war zone here so that's actually what is happening yeah, like, right now. Oh, it's cool studio. This Some, video is so random. Like I'm just... I'm yeah. When we hit a million subs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not even like, I don't have a script. I don't have a plan. Another question. What has been the most career-defining point in your career so far? Well, 
that's probably when I wrote um, and released Skyward. I was so tired here, and that's all Gio's fault. <laughs> Gio actually rented uh, an Airbnb the night before we shoot the video of Skyward. But what Gio didn't know is that with Airbnb, you can also rent uh, like a shared apartment, so you can like stay in a room in someone's home. But we we thought that we we were going to arrive in a, just a like a private home or a private apartment somewhere we could just crash for the night. We opened the door. Uh -huh. We saw like a laptop open, and we saw food in the fridge. No one was home. It was actually like pajamas on the bed from someone else. And we were like, oh my gosh! So eventually, Gio and I had to like <laughs> there was this one room, super tiny room. We had to sleep together. Oh, that sounds so horny. In the middle of the night, I had to pee. <laughs> but Gio has, had blocked the door with flight case to make sure that that creepy guy that lived there wouldn't like come in and rape him. <laughs> so I was like climbing on top of all those flight cases, trying to open the door. But there was someone in the house at that point. I had no idea who it was and what his intentions were. So I was just scared and. Eventually, I broke one toe. No, it went fine. It went fine. Uh, I slept like two hours, and then I had to be on set at, I think, like 7 a.m. So, great story. I was tired. Who is it om als Nederlander Engelse video's te maken en alles in het Engels te moeten doen op Insta? It's kind of hard because when you you're trying to say something fast or quick or just speaking your mind. You have to think about everything you're saying because it's not that it doesn't flow out of my mouth naturally, I guess. Um, I've Incredible been working on it. I've been I would say she's like, I guess like, she's harder yes, on herself, but the accent's not like distracting no. in any way. So, yeah. Davina, if you're watching our reaction to your reaction to your reactions, uh, you're speak as an English speaker my whole life. You're you're doing amazing. In fact, it just endears you. You have a wonderful accent to your voice, and you're very intelligent. And your your English is extremely articulate. There's no. She's saying words that. You know you can. She's very good at the language. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. But I know what she's saying. She's saying she kind of has to do a mini translation. I get it. It's like a buffer. It's like a a lag, so to speak. So thoughts will come to her like, oh, I. To come back with a quip or something, but I have to translate a little bit, and there's a bit of a pause. But other than that, no, she's she's killing it. Well, and I would say for people who speak English as a second language right. or any language as a second language, you're always conscious about your accent, no matter what. And the biggest, the biggest, it's the same problem we have sometimes in our channel. It's like the one person that makes a negative comment makes you think that's the problem. And yeah. so all it takes is for one idiot to be like, mm, her accent isn't great. And then, you know, people who, who struggle, like they're going to focus on that. Yeah. I have right. a couple of friends that hate, that hate it when people bring that up, but yeah. Right. No, you're, you're killing it. You're doing a great job. Listening to myself a lot. I love just being able to communicate with people all over the world. My accent actually just annoys me, but I kind of accept it that I sound like a flat Dutch farmer girl. <laughs> and I have a very low voice. What else do we have? Oh yeah, I also did uh, a cover while I was in Curaçao for a show. What? 2.7 million, that's crazy. I probably got sunburned after this video because it was so hot. Who See you, see you, see you every time. And oh my, I, I like your style. Dance for me, dance for me, whoa. I've never seen anybody do the things you do before. They say, move for me, move for me, move for me, yeah. When you're done, I'll make you do it all again. We should watch the Better Now live. I got to support Pink's Beautiful Trauma World Tour show in the Netherlands. So amazing. It was like 60,000 oh, wow. people watching my bougie ass. And this was amazing. I see you breathing down my neck when I want space. I told you how I feel, but nothing changed. Am I wrong? Okay, 
讲的。耶，好，差不多。That's cool. So let's. That、mm. was kind of cool. Sure, live on stage with a band like that. That was kind of a, a neat thing to see there with the band and the drums, the guitar, kind of rocking it out there. And I, I missed where that was. That I, I don't know where it was. I think it was like a benefit of some sort. So there's like it's like a rotating bands come through. So she was in、okay. front of sixty thousand people. Hmm. Yeah,、hmm. that's pretty cool. She's she's such a great voice. Yeah. Like anyway, I'll save my thoughts for the end. But yeah. Yeah. Could you please? <laughs> Do a final question. Do you have any tips for undiscovered, talented people? Just do it. Record yourself. Listen back to it. Reflect on yourself. Do it better every time you do it. I oh, do it better every time. Okay, we get worse. Okay, that might be the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the key, Nathan. We have to get better. That's the key. Oh, oh, all this, all this time, I've just been like not caring and not、that's、doing、right. anything. <clears throat> if, now, if I look back at my covers of three years ago, I see. Such、uh, an insecure and an anxious girl. I still have those issues, but I have learned so much from just doing it. And I have had so many videos. I was like, "Oh no, I don't like this. I don't know what are people gonna think." Uh, uh. Not that. Just do it. Okay, guys, that's it. I've watched a lot of old videos. I've answered questions. Thank you so much for wanting to be part of my family and my journey. And. I love you guys so much, and you're all so positive. And I love your comments. I read all your comments. I don't always respond, yeah,、um, but I always read、do. them, and I'm so thankful for your support. I love you all, and stay safe. Mwah. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. Mwah. All right. What are your thoughts, or Nathan? Your final thoughts, you, as you said. I want to see more videos from her. Pass me the Kool Aid. I'm in. It's a it look. She seems like she'd be a A great artist to to explore more about and and hear more because I love her voice, I love her personality. She's gorgeous. She's got great band. She's got she's got the whole package, everything there. Yeah,、oh, I agree. Thanks, Nina. That was a lot of fun to watch. I mean, I pretty much shared my comments throughout. But again, to to、um, summarize,、uh, Davina seems like a lovely gal, talented, fun, and that's the big thing for Nathan and I too. Like an artist, we are very. That's what that was. See Davina, me speak proper English. We enjoy artists more when they're endearing and when they're someone not that we can just relate to. It's not about just relating because you can relate to someone who's negative, but、mm. someone who seems to be fun, a positive energy. There's too much negative energy already in the world. It's nice just to be. We want to support any artist or personality that seems like a pleasant personality. I'm all for that. It actually just helps me like that artist more. Um, so absolutely cool. So thanks, Davina Miko. I think I'm saying it right.、Uh, let us know in the comments if I'm saying it wrong. But that's what she said. <laughs> I think she knows how to pronounce her name. You said that's what she said, and it wasn't a joke. Good for you, Ryan. You see, you can learn. I'm trying to do better with every video. I'm trying to be better. Yeah, I didn't have to bring the fly swatter out once for this one. No,、nope. I'm just gonna go to her Instagram though, see if she has any bikini pictures.、Though. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm just. It's not my fault. She posts them. I. That's too good. All right. I'm sorry, Divi. I'm just fooling around. That's an old joke that Nathan and I always talk about. Okay. All right. Thanks, thanks everyone. Everybody. Thanks for joining us. It's fine. See you in the next one.